Hello, everybody. Welcome in to Mediocre Risk 61, where we filled up a Caps game on Spaceport Sigma super quick. So everybody hopped into this thing. I'm Erasmus Bakta. Well, my name is Ryan Scott. I'm playing as Erasmus Bakta. It's my Anything Goes account, where uh, the whole gimmick here is Mediocre Risk. Um... And so I play risk the best I can. And that's usually, you know, pretty so-so. Uh, I think I'm sitting about 18,000 in my rank right now. All right, so that's a split bonus. Ooh. This is a nice one, but I don't have much back here. So you can take this and come out. This looks like my best spot, but I don't want to cap there. I could cap here. It's a split bonus anyway, but I could go for this one and then into this area. That's a lot of twos. Yikes. Red goes after me. So if I cap over here, red very likely will cap here. If I go here, I don't know if black's going to try to roll me instantly. It's nice to get a bonus early, but it's not like a hundred percent necessary. I do have a decent amount of territories over here. I could leave purple alone to go other directions. Hopefully somebody caps in here to mess with purple. So I didn't see yellow either. Yeah, I'm going to take the risk. I mean, maybe they run me over at the beginning and I have to do some play. But as long as black is friendly, we can make this work. And we'll see. I just didn't want red to cap. I mean, maybe I'll just keep a cap here and work over this direction if red doesn't cap here. But I was just very worried that if I capped, you know, dependent on this section down here in the, in the bottom right, they didn't go there. Interesting. All right, so now maybe I do invest a little bit down here. Um... It won't take much for me to get this whole bonus, honestly. Put two here and two here and the rest on the cap. Because what am I going to get? I'm going to get seven or eight, right? To start off with. Well, maybe nine. Depending on who goes where. I could make a play for that anyway. All right, Black's moving their troops. Maybe trying for next time to go after my cap. I think, I mean, if there's twos on either of these spots that I can't see, I don't really have a chance. But I may invest four down here just to see if it's possible. It'll also give me a little bit better view in this corner over here to see whether there's a cap. Although I should know that by the time we get in. Let's see if anyone is yellow botting right off the bat. Didn't like their starting position. It doesn't look like purple took a bonus. I don't think black took a bonus. Yellow left. All right, so we're playing neutral bots. Uh, yeah, I guess I should show the settings. 
We've got progressive cards, neutral bots. Oh, I went with 90 seconds. I'm not sure why I did that. But once they're out, they're out. So it's not like we're waiting forever. Yes, yellow just decided they didn't like their starting spot. All right, so we're putting two here. We're putting two here. Putting four more there. That should be plenty. And then we... Oh, there's a black cap here. Well, that's different. I couldn't even take it. That's that's kind of funny. Why did black leave their cap? I lost the three on one to take the cap, which was sort of the thing I needed to do most. Um, I'm going to take an extra territory here. And I guess move that up. Wasn't really any more territory for me to get. So now I have to figure out what Black is doing. Because Black left this open. I'm definitely going to try to take it, but I don't know if Black's going to try to come back after me. What did Black do? Professor Munover. We've got Lillard Shimizu. Brave Kite went bot immediately. General Graysteel 3. I think I've played General Grey Steel 3 before. That's a it's a big time player, right? A Musid 001. Oh, there was red here. I bet. Are these Turkish guys trying to play? Are they collaborating? He realized when he couldn't give it to Red, he's coming back. Yeah, I'm definitely reporting that. That's really suspicious. I wish I would have been able to take that. So now, uh, what stinks is that black is there, and I can't do anything about it. All right, gray still's working their way through this bonus. Looks like purple still doesn't have one. Red's got one up here. Yeah, it really seemed like black was trying to give that bonus away. Interesting. Um, no, I'm not going to waste them over there. I'm going to put three here. At least work on taking black out from behind me and make it a little harder for them to come this direction. I think that's what we're going to have to do. It stinks that yellow is still back there. I need to take that three out at some point. Well, I don't mind keeping a strong cap and working on black back here, because even if they get that bonus, I can keep taking it from them. And if I've got the four off cap, I mean, are they going to hit it? Still going to cost them something off that cap. Well, they only lost two. Trying to take me out of this back section? Is that the plan? He doesn't know if I have it already. Gotcha. All right, so purple's starting to take that bonus. Black's really going to be a pain. I don't know if there's some other place I can work on. 
Maybe I do start to clear it out. <clears throat> Purple's going to have their hands full with blue up there. I'd like to get yellow out behind here as quickly as possible. So they're not adding in behind me. Which they've already done. It is the one downside of the neutral. They're going to keep stacking wherever their cap is, too. It's not going to be moved off of, like, although they lost it already. We know that. I am going to keep working in this direction. Uh, I'm actually going to try one of these, see what happens. One and one. Oh, I got two there. So now I got three on one. Okay. We're going to keep going. Give a try to get black in the back here. Ah, oh, I didn't get it. All right. Well, we'll keep working on it. See what happens. I don't know if this is a good strategy. That's why it's called mediocre risk. I do have a trade whenever I want it. Obviously want to try and wait. This black's going to have to trade in first. I wonder if red's going to just immediately start working this direction. No, they're clearing this out so they can get more of a bonus. So red's going to be pretty strong. And my guess is they come right at me right away. That's what we'll see here. So they've got two bonuses back there now. And maybe this launch pad, and you can bet they're going to come right this direction. Because we have a pair of collaborators. I'm almost sure of it. He's trading in immediately. Oh, and he's going to try and clear the bonus. Gotcha. Specifically me out of the bonus, right? Yep. Yeah, black is just... Priming me up for red to come swoop in. And I don't really know what I do about that. I don't think there is anything I can do about it. I guess I just stack on my cap. And hope somebody gets frisky with red before her hand. At this point though, this might be the end of yellow. I mean, unless purple has them trapped back here, but I think purple's got that bonus already, right? So they're probably working in here. If they add the five there, oh, they don't have any cards because they traded their neutral from the beginning. So there's no reason to even take them out. Yeah, that is the last... No, it's not the last spot. They only put one there. Okay. Okay. So Blue's got his bonus. Who's he going after? Which way is Blue attacking? Is he going into purple? Or is he going into red? Looks like he tried to come out and found the purple cap in the launch pad over here. So I am just going to stack at this point because 
black is trying to soften me up for red. Red may be coming right now. All right, so red's got plus 12 and 4 plus 16. Maybe they didn't have the launch pad yet, but they certainly do now. <laughs> Black's getting 10 because they have so many troops. Blue quit. I can't even get over there. I mean, if red isn't stacked here, I could get over there, I guess. Oh, black's got space somewhere else. Where is black going? 10 troops. Do they actually have that many territories? They're attacking a whole bunch. Huh. I wonder if there's a way to get blue. What's purple getting? I know blue's up in the top left here, but they're going to have more troops than I do. Unless purple's going at them. Yeah, I'm definitely not trading in yet. We're just going to keep attacking black. They have two caps! Ah, I see now. They're trying to eliminate back here so that they can abandon that cap. Gotcha. All right, so black's going to put in in the middle and try to take my guys out back here. Which means I do need to keep the foothold back there. Huh. So is yellow capped here? That must have been what happened. So maybe they're not collabing with red. Even though they are making things very easy for red to be here. Somebody went after him. They don't have a trade, so as long as they leave one back here, I can kind of start making a mess. Now we have to see what black does. So red was getting hit by somebody, which I suspect was black. Are they going after red? Am I going to get the benefit of black attacking red? This could be awesome. I thought they were collaborating, and now they're actually going to kill each other. I never would have guessed there was two caps right next to each other like that. Quite fascinating. He's just going nuts into red. Huh. The trades are going to be lower, though, because we've got these bots in there. I would love to go get those cards from blue. All right, so purple has found out I'm over here. You can go into blue, man. Oh, he's just stacking against me? That's not cool, dude. We're putting one there. 
make it up to five. But we are coming in back here. To take this cap and hopefully we can strengthen it a little bit more next time around i'm gonna have to wait till after having four cards and i bet black still has this whole bonus back here don't they that's why they're getting 10. and i think they may have also abandoned this cap which means Maybe they are working with red. Red's going to come right in and hit this cap, aren't they? No. Well, we'll know now if they do or not. Is it empty or not? It is not empty. Okay. So black's getting six, so they still don't have this whole bonus. So as long as purple doesn't come flying at me, which I guess they might do, I can start clearing out back here again. Black's just trying to be a little too aggressive, it looks like. So purple has to decide if they want to hit my 25 cap. Or do they want to go after blue? Blue is a bot. or I mean, blue is, is neutral at this point. Like, why would they want to stack against me? They've got a much bigger problem. They already got the cards. Oh, now they're going to trade in and just take out my cap. I gotcha. They should be going after red at this point. Red is a much bigger threat. Rare. Should have tried to go in the other way. Oh, they backed off. I like that. So we're hitting this guy. Make sure the bonus is broken. And come back to this cap. I think black didn't do it correctly. And maybe I can turn in a little early. Is red going to roll their cap? Because he can't have much on this cap, but he didn't put anything in there, I guess. So we know we've got. Oh, sorry, I bumped the. I bumped the thing. Make sure the camera's back in the right spot. Um. So there's a cap over here, and we assume blues was up in here. We know red's over here. That's one, two, three, four, five. He's opening the cap up? That doesn't make a lot of sense. He's moving up whatever he had in there, I guess. So purple is next. They're clearly leaving this 25 alone for the moment. So I'm definitely going to take advantage of that. We're just going to put it on the cap. Go at the four. Lost two. And we'll keep 12 on the cap. And we'll just continue to clear black out from back here. Which should, at the at the very least, secure me second place. I mean, he's going to trade in. And presumably he's going to put him back here. But it's still only going to be 25. Which I guess he can take the 12 cap with the 25 trade for sure but hopefully it's a bad roll and I can just come right back at it I 
right? I mean, that would be the ideal. He's got 31 back here. He's going to come hit that cap. He'll get it for sure. He lost 11. So 28, that's down to 27 minus 11. That's a 16 cap. Oh, he left 14 back here? Is he trying to clear me all the way out? He won't have anything on that cap? He forgot that I have this little guy over here. Yeah. I wonder if he's going to fortify it. Well, he's not going to have anything left on there. Unless he's fortifying from his other cap. Uh, purple is steamrolling at this point. There's not a lot I can do. What I want to do is try to make sure black doesn't win here. And I think the way I want to do that is going, I'm going to go through yellow to keep this cap closed off. Allows me to hit the cap. And then break through a little bit. So, that wasn't the end of yellow, but... Can hit the six cap. Only lost seven, which is great. And clear out the back side of this, and then clear out the rest on the next turn. Unless I guess he's got a trade on three, and then which he can take it right back again, I suppose. Oh. I have a trade on three, which I can definitely wipe it out and strengthen a little bit here. Red's got to go after purple because red's getting beat by purple. So I know there are only, I believe there are only ones in here. One, one, one. I do have to do a split at some point. Ah, oh, he did have the trade on three. Interesting. How much is he losing on my cap? He lost 15. So he's got the 25 cap. Is he going to try and completely wipe it out? That's going to deplete the cap again. So he's going to be down to three. All right, so he can add two to the cap. He's down to 17, 15. So he's wiping me out from behind. But I don't know how much he's got on this front cap. So the back cap, that's down to 11. He's not going to have any more than 11 on it. But I can't get into it. So I guess I'm just going to have to go take a look. Purple's trading in early. Well, I mean, I got to go for it. Because if I'm going to take it, I got to do it now. So I know there's maybe 11 back there. Oh, he's already coming in this way? He hasn't gotten red yet. Please move that eight. I don't want to go through extra troops. Get to black, so he may be taking red out at this point. In which case, I do want to trade in and stack a big cap. Because then he'll go after black next. Is he going to get all the way to red? And if he doesn't, can I get all the way to red? He's only got two cards, though. Doesn't make a lot of sense. All right, so we're definitely trading in. So we get the nice big stack. 
And I am going to go take a look at it at least. Oh, 26. What are the odds I get this? Oh, I lost the whole thing. Oh, boy. Well, that was the mediocre play. I gambled on a good roll, and I did not get it. So now I'm going to go out in fourth place, and black will kill me. Or maybe purple will kill me, but somehow I'm not surviving this turn. Unless he just decides to stick with that cap. Just bringing everything forward. I wonder if that was everything. If I could have gone through it, I would have broken everything. He could have moved that whole 10 up here and wouldn't have had anything on that cap. I don't know, like, why did I not look? Could have broken all the bonuses and kept one of these caps back here. Well, that could have been a doubly mediocre play. Just like the dumbest of all time. So he doesn't know what happened over here. And he didn't take red out. Yikes. I'm getting clobbered on this turn. Black has hated me the whole game. I've played poorly. I should have at least kept that cap, right? Would have been harder for him to roll. Any number of plays would have worked better. Red's card blocked. Okay, so Black's just going to take me out here. But then they're basically dead. Either way, you got to see a very mediocre game that I could have played differently a number of ways. But really, that pivotal one. Oh, he's going after purple. He saw that my cap was so low. Interesting. All right, so now purple decides they've got red blocked. Do they come after black or do they take me out first? I can wait till I have three cards, so maybe I don't take the third one. Is there a chance? I mean, I guess if it's a horse, there's a chance I can get it on three. They're taking this back. Why would they do that? If I were him, I would attack black. I mean, he can take me out at any point, and so can black. So. I guess I just hope it's a, it's a horse, and it is. So if by some miracle I make it through the next turn, I can trade in and just be sitting here waiting. Oh, he's going to come take me out. He's not going to wait. He can't afford to wait. Yep. Well, there you go. There was uh, episode 61 of Mediocre Risk. Um, yeah, purple was the master, black was an intermediate. Sorry that I thought you guys were collaborating. I didn't realize that there were two caps so close together there. Um, yeah, I guess tune in next time. Uh, I should still be a master, but maybe not that much because, uh, that was a pretty bad game. But the thing with mediocre risk is it's, we're always up and down. So the next one could be fantastic. Uh, until next time, this is Ryan signing off.